your rank or text ratio is one of the most important on-page ranking factor. And many people get this wrong. Uh, I see many established uh, SEOs getting it wrong. Um, and the reason being is that they're following a fixed formula. Um, the formula is 80% branded anchor text, 10% uh, naked URLs, um, and then you know, they, they just sprinkle uh, random uh, click me's and about me's and all of this ac across uh, their, their anchor text. And that's, that's the wrong approach to doing it because quite frankly, in my experience, the anchor text ratio is not fixed. Google is not looking at a fixed anchor text ratio. Um, the algorithm is very different for every region, um, for every industry, for every website. So for instance, um, the anchor text ratio of a classified website is going to be very different from uh, a service website or, or a restaurant. So if you're following a, a, this formula that's come up, that's, uh, that's been uh, touted by SEOs or online, these, these articles that, that pop up and um, fake gurus, then you're not, going to be, you're not going to be able to rank. Now, you might be able to get to the bottom of page one with, with you know, just not having great anchor text. Um, but if you want to get from, you know, from the bottom of page one to the top of page one, you need to fix your anchor text. Um, and this is what this video is about. Now, make sure that you go through the entire video. I get a lot of questions from people who don't go through the entire video and then um, they, they don't really understand what I'm talking about. So make sure you go to the entire video. This is a, this is a how to, it's going to be a 15, 20 minute video. Um, so make sure you go through, through it um, and shoot me a, a comment if you have any questions. Also, I offer SEO services. Um, there's a link in the description. If you need someone to do your SEO, uh, my agency is here for you. Uh, click the link and fill in the form and, on, and uh, we'll get in touch with you. Um, we'll do a quick consultation. We'll talk about your website, your business, what you're trying to achieve, and my team will go ahead and start working on your SEO. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Um, I'm going to start with um, an example. I will give, I'll give you guys one example because I think people don't want to watch a very, really long video and I think one example will suffice um, to give you an idea of uh, how to calculate uh, the keyword anchor text or uh, the anchor text ratio of a website um, before you start to um, do the internal and external link building. Um, they also give you a fairly good idea of um, how this varies from one industry to the next. You can go ahead and try and use this technique um, for your industry and see what kind of ratios you come up with. Let us know in the comments below. Um, so we're going to start with a garage door um, service. Um, primarily um, indicating how uh, okay so we're going to start with a uh, garage door service um, a garage door repair service to be uh, precise so I'll go ahead and I'll put in a search term in Google um, garage door repair okay let's do Las Vegas Okay, since we're a garage door uh, repair service, we will stay away from aggregators um, and we'll just focus on websites. Um, so the first one here is A1 Garage Door Locations page in Nevada. Now, we're not looking specifically for a locations page, so this is not going to work for us. The, the one below is a Yelp page. Again, this is a review site, um, not something that we want to look at. Um, this is something that we want. This is garage door. Um, dash lv.com. This is more of what we are looking for. We'll go ahead and open this in a new tab. Um, and we want garage door repair in Las Vegas. This is their title. Um, I think it's a lead gen website, by the way. So anyway, so the URL, the URL is best garage door Las Vegas. Go ahead and open this up real quick. Um, and we've got precision garage door Las Vegas. Um, again, it's a location page, so we're not interested. So I think we can start with two over here, and usually you'd want to do like two to three. Um, I that will give me a fairly good idea of what kind of a keyword ratio I should use for a client. And this is a this is a uh, this is a great place to start. So this is an established name um, in in the garage door industry in Las Vegas, but that does not matter because we can we can do established. And this one right here has a few. Um, issues with the website as you can see they've got 
problems. I'll go ahead and try and refreshing this, and yeah, there got a few problems, but um, this sh this should not affect our, our keyword ratio calculation. So I'll go ahead and pull up, I'll pull this URL up real quick. Go ahead and so this here is a free tool. It's called smallseotools.com. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Go ahead, punch the URL over here. Load. Okay, so as you can see, anchor text have got go now, um, and there's about 69, uh, 69 domains with backlinks to the website with the anchor text go now, um, and 696 backlinks. All right, and they've got visit, and they've got three backlinks, um, and 597, so backlinks number. So this you can see, and then they've got this empty here is most probably a naked URL. Um, so it's a domain, 127 domains with naked URLs. Um, and you can just scroll down and we've got all of it. Now, we'll take this data in. We'll take this data in and we'll go ahead and copy it. And we'll copy it to a Google Sheets that we have open right here to, all right, so, I've gone ahead and I've done all the heavy, heavy lifting, primarily copying all of this data from here on to um, this Google Sheets. Um, and I'll make the link to the Google Sheets available to you guys as well. So you can check out the formula and you can dissect what I've done right here. Um, so primarily I've broken this down. I have um, copied all of this, I've pasted it. So th the objective here is to find out what kind of a um, anchor text ratio we can get away with. So for starters, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, sum these up. So we're going to go ahead, we'll do this, and we will do equal, go sum, close, go summing out of this up, enter. So we're going to sum this up, close, enter. Let's go ahead and make this bold so that everyone can see this. Um, we'll do the same for this over here. And some. And, and we've got this. We'll do this here real quick as well. And okay, some. And so the uh, as you can see, we're adding all of this up. So it's adding the domains, it's adding all of the links. Um, that we found, um, that the tool has found, and it's it's given us this anchor text. So, 2,618 backlinks, and from 463 domains, over here we got 611 backlinks, uh, 4,321 backlinks from 611 domains. Now, we need to figure out two things. The first thing is the number, um, like how many, how much of these anchor texts are um, naked URLs, how many of them are uh, branded anchor text. So right off the bat, I can tell you that um, none of these are branded anchor text. As far as I can see, um, they have not used any branded anchor text. And this is contrary to what you've, uh, what you've probably read online and what SEO gurus have told you is that a lot of your anchor text should be, um, should be branded anchor text. When in fact, what's ranking for this website here, right here, is, is if I just take a quick look through, take a quick look through what they have here. Um, it's either naked URLs right off the bat, um, and then there's some random uh, links there, and then they're they're just uh, you know they're just they're not many. There's not there's no branded anchor text except for what I can see here. Um, is gra is precision garage uh, so what so the ratios here right off the bat are um, are a keyword anchor text and naked URLs and a few random sprinkle in between so what kind of ratio uh, are we looking at we'll go ahead and, and figure out the percentage values of these uh, for that we'll go ahead and um, do this and what we're doing is we're comparing the links. So let's say we've got go now here. So this is not go now. So we go ahead and click here. And okay. 
Okay, so what we've done here real quick is we have um, we have selected cells, we have select, taken this cell, and we have pulled out their uh, values as to like what's the ratio, uh, like how many links, um, how many links out of the total links, percentage-wise uh, is uh, is is being used. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll select all of these here real quick and we will hit the percentage and this will make it easy. So 16% is go now, um, visit now and we'll do the same here as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll do an equal to um, and we will do this. Okay, so now we have a very good picture of. So we we pulled up the percentages for every uh, URL, every anchor text um, that's linking to the website, and as you can see, now we're trying to figure out what kind of keyword, uh, anchor text percentages we can use. So right off the bat, we've got go now is not a keyword, visit is not a keyword. Um, this is a naked URL. We'll leave this for now. This is a keyword right here. We'll bold this. We'll bold this right here. Um, we'll bold this. This is a keyword. This is also a keyword of key phrase, and this is also a keyword of key phrase. Um, we will add this up real quick. So we've got this. We've got this. We've got this right here, and we'll go ahead and we'll sum these up. So we'll look at um, yeah. keywords, keyword anchor text value go ahead and make this real, real quick we will sum this up and sum and what we want is we want these values right here so we will pull this um, we will pull this we will pull this we will pull this Okay, so we can see that um, the keyword or key phrase anchor text for this is 38.57. So we have a margin of around 338.57 keyword uh, percentage of your, of your backlinks um, can be keywords. Um, and now we'll go ahead and take a look at naked URLs. So this is a naked URL, so this is 9.23%. And this is a naked, red naked URL, that is 18. So you can say at around 17% um, of your URLs can be naked URLs. We'll go ahead and put here 17% and naked URLs. Um, there's, there are no branded URLs, um, so we can't speak to that. Um, the rest of the URLs, as you can see, are go now, visit. So these are called random anchor texts, um, and you can sprinkle these around these are the main percentages. I'll go ahead and do this for um, the best garage door Vegas.com website as well. Um, so we've got keyword anchor. Keyword anchor. And it starts pulling in the values. Okay, before we do that, we would need to identify these. So this is a keyword URL. This is a keyword anchor text. This is a keyword anchor text. This here is a keyword anchor text. Um, the rest are just randoms. Okay, so here's another one. So this is another keyword anchor text. Okay, make it. Um, I went ahead and did the, the. I went ahead and did all the calculations here. Um, I put in the formulas, and as we can see, the keyword anchor text for uh, best garage door Las Vegas is 53.44%, and the naked URLs over here are 30.14%. So, if if I were doing SEO for this um, for a garage door website, uh, I would I would what what I would do is I would have uh, a re somewhere between 38% and 53% keyword anchor text. 
um, or key phrase anchor text as they've been used here. I'll also use a similar anchor text to what I've pulled up over here. Um, and my naked URLs would be anywhere between um, 70 to 30%. So this is a good range um, to work between. Um, instead of these, what, 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 what I would do differently, instead of having save image um, over here, and I think they have the, uh, around the same percentage of save image. So save image over here is, um, okay, it's 13%. It's save image over here is 5%. So instead of having a lot of these, what I will do is I'll push more branded anchor text. I'll put in around uh, 20 to 25% branded anchor text. I will add that to my keyword. I will add that to my URL, URL uh, anchor text. And the reason for that is that we, we, we want to push a lot of branding. Um, and that comes in handy when you, when you start building a brand and people start searching for your brand, it becomes easier um, for search engines to know what people are searching for. Um, and the other benefit is, is, is that you divert, you're diversifying um, your uh, keyword anchor text. So if you have 53.44%, you're pretty much safe because this website is ranking. Um, so a lot of the SEO gurus have just proven them wrong who, who, who say that you should have really low keyword anchor text or key phrase anchor text. I think it's all about how it's used. So as you can see, it's very easy to find out what the right anchor text ratio is. You do not need to follow it an established formula. Just go ahead and do what I've shown you. I've, I've been doing this for years and this has worked for me and I don't, do not use an established formula. So if you like the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next